What is your management style? Listen to the metaphors again. Remember, on average, you have probably only spent one or two hours with this person in a rather contrived atmosphere. You want to listen to see that what you hear is consistent with what you saw or experienced. I should mention here one of the hundreds of lessons I've learned about employment since I started in this business in 1973. I'd never recommend taking a job strictly because you like the boss and you want to work for him or her. Often, candidates are so impressed with the hiring authority that they confuse liking the person with liking the job and want to take a job because of whom they would be working for. Now I'm not saying that you shouldn't consider whom you are going to work for in the process of evaluating a job. Whom you work for is crucial to your success. But, with the transient business environment today, your boss could be here today and gone tomorrow. By the way, it's the same with you, just don't take a job exclusively because of the hiring authority. Make your possible future boss a part of the decision. Go to work for someone you can hopefully learn from. But ask yourself, would this be a good job if this person weren't here? It may change how you feel about the job, but in this day and age, you can't assume anyone is going to be anywhere for any length of time.